Okay, the measuring scales. Uh, this side of the framing square is showing uh, all the measuring scales that are a little bit different. The opposite side of the framing square is marked. All the inch marks are, are broken down into eighths. Nothing unusual with that. Uh, but this side, we have uh, three different types of measurement on it. So down on this uh, area right here, every inch is broken up into sixteenths of an inch. So you have ac more accurate measurement. On the outside edges over here, we have the twelfth scale. Okay, It is a scale, it's not a ruler. So just like uh, you have a architectural scale, um, engineer scale, and so on for scaling drawings, that's what this is for, scaling drawings. So you can make your own drawings on site, wherever you might be. Use your, pull out your framing square, use your 12th scale, and you can scale up a drawing, uh, lay something out with it, measure the missing dimensions, however you want to use it. So it is very useful. Uh, have a look at the little video of me using the 12 scale uh, to measure a diagonal and uh, maybe you can uh, see more use for it that way. So check that out later later on in the, in the lesson here. So anyways, uh, every inch is broken up into 12 increments. So that gives you, oh, can't quite get on the lines, but 12 inches equals one foot. Okay, so that's a one to one scale. Okay, one inch equals one foot. Now, over here on the inside edges of the tongue, that is the tenth scale. The tenth scale is for when you are dividing something up into equal spaces and you're doing the math and you end up with a decimal answer. For example, let's see, my arrow is pointing at basically 1.1, there's 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, my arrow might be pointing at 1.35 inches. So that gives you a very accurate measurement. So if you are uh, dividing something up in equal spaces, when we convert from a decimal to an imperial measurement, there's always rounding that happens. And when we round, we either round up or we round down, you will end up with an error factor. So if, uh, for example, we had 30 spaces at 1.35 inches and we rounded and lost a, a, a tenth of a of a of a sixteenth for example that will be an error factor by the time you get to the end so it makes things a lot more accurate that way